Okay, let's factor general trinomial with leading coefficient equals 1. For number 1, you have to factor the first term and the third term. The first term is just x and x. x times x is x squared. Now you factor also the third term. You just think of two numbers that will give you a product of 12 and a sum of 7. So we have... 3 and 4. The factors are x plus 3 and x plus 4. For number 2, factor the first term and factor the third term. x squared is just x and x. Then you think of two numbers that will give you a product of 12 and a sum of negative 7. This time you have negative 3 and negative 4 as factors of 12. So you have x minus 3 and x minus 4. For number 3, you have negative 12 as the third term. So you think of two numbers that will give you a product of negative 12 and a sum of negative 1. So you have x minus 4 and x plus 3. So if we check, we will check this one. This is x times x is x squared. Negative 4 and, neg and 3 is negative 12. And negative 4x plus 3x is negative 1x. Number 4 still is negative 12. But the middle term coefficient is positive 1. So factoring x squared, you have x and x. This time you will have plus 4 and negative 3. Number 5, we are still working on number 12, but the middle term is 8x. So you think of two numbers that will give you a product of 12 and a sum of 8. This time you have 6 and 2. So you have x plus 6 and x plus 2. Number 6 is the same, but this is negative 8, so you have x minus 6, and yes, x minus 2. Number 7, you have negative 12, and negative 4 here, so think of two numbers that will give you a product of negative 12 and a sum of negative 4. So you have x minus 6 and x plus 2. Then for number 8, you have negative 12 he here. So you, the factors are negative 2 and positive 6 because negative 2 and 6 is positive 4. So you have x plus 6 and x minus 2.